Welcome to Logical Solutions Online Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will see a new feature of SOLIDWORKS introduced in 2016 called as Mate Controller, which is capable of creating animations with the help of SOLIDWORKS Mates. SOLIDWORKS animation of an assembly is a representation of its motion in an assembly which can be done either by creating animations or configurations to represent the multiple positions of assembly. With this easy process, we can represent the different positions of components in an assembly, but these are time consuming. As said earlier, SOLIDWORKS has introduced this feature in 2016. With this, we can specify multiple positions of our assembly components using different mates and changing respective mate values without actually having to create configurations for positions or even animations. SOLIDWORKS can also generate these animations for movements between selected positions in an assembly and even save those animations as a media file. SOLIDWORKS Mate Controller is also integrated with motion studies, so we can create animations based on positions we define in our Mate Controller. The supported mates for SOLIDWORKS Mate Controller are Angle Mate, Distance Mate, Limit Angle Mate, Limit Distance Mate, Slot and Width Mate. In this tutorial, we will see the step-by-step -step procedure of using Mate Controller with the help of sample pick and place robot assembly. This robot assembly consists of several parts like robot arms, supporting arm, picking grippers, motors and clamps, wheels, supporting rotor, which are assembled using SOLIDWORKS standard and advanced mates. This assembly has been designed in such a way that it supports mate controller, which means this assembly consists of mates that can be used to define certain positions of pick and place robot using mate controller. You can observe here that this assembly consists of mates like limit angle mates, limit distance mates that can be used to control the positions of this assembly. Now let us have a look at the procedure to add mate controller in the assembly and also create multiple positions of the robot, picking and placing and finally generating the animation. You can find mate controller in the insert menu. Just go into insert, you can find it. When the tool is launched, click on the collect all supported mates icon to capture only the supported mate types that is angle, distance, limit angle, limit distance which are present in our assembly. You can even reorder the mates if required by just using up and bottom arrows. The next thing we want to create is multiple positions. The position 1 is usually our default position and therefore shouldn't have any motion. If required, make changes. After initial position, we'll add the position 2 by clicking add position icon. Whenever creating new positions, you can change the mate types to new values and continue doing this for each position. After making changes, you need to select update position. Present in the add position icon to update those changes to the certain position. Like this, we can add any number of positions. I have already added multiple positions to show the motion of the robot. We can go back to any position from the position tab and make necessary changes to the particular position. After that, we need to select again the update position icon to reflect these changes to that position. We can even remove the position if not required by using the delete position icon. Just select the position to be removed and click delete position icon present after in the tab and just click that. Using reorder position icon, we can change the order of positions if we want to move certain positions either up or down by simply selecting the position to be reordered and using the buttons to move up or down. We can change as required. We can change the names of positions by just selecting the position and renaming it in the top section available. In the animation tab present below, we can observe that the positions created until now have been shown in a table and certain time has been allotted to each position by default 2 seconds for each position. We can change the time set for each position to our requirement. Once we have completed all our positions and setting the time, we can go down to the part of the property manager and click on calculate animation icon. The current animations will be highlighted in the table as the animation plays on. You can observe each and every position has been calculated with its respective time allotted to each position. We can even select the animation to be calculated within a certain range by just selecting the select position option and then selecting the range of the positions required from the pull downs and then again clicking calculate animation. The animation between selected positions will be calculated now. After finishing the calculate animation, we can create a media file for our mate controller positions. That is, we can save all our positions as an animation file 
using save animation as an AVI or other file type icon. Just by selecting this icon will be redirected to save file to a location window and clicking save button brings the video compression settings window. Make any necessary changes and click OK which saves our animation. As I said earlier, we can create animation based on the positions we define with Mate Controller. We'll see how to do this. Switch to the Motion Ready tab present beside the Model tab present at the bottom in our user interface. We need to add any models or make any changes in this Motion Study as we need to only import the positions from Mate Controller. This is done from Animation Wizard. Select Animation Wizard. A window appears with different options. Select Mate Controller from options available. Click Next. In the selection box, select the mate controller to import if you have created multiple mate controllers in the assembly. Also select the import type to either key points or motors. Also select the start time and click finish. Roll through the animation using the animation bar. We need to select calculate animation even in this case. You can observe all the key points have been added to all the mates. And then now just clicking the calculate animation. The animation will be calculated throughout the entire key points. We can even roll through the animation from first to the last. We can even save this animation as we have done earlier in using Mate Controller. Hope you have enjoyed this session of SOLIDWORKS tutorials. This helps you to design in a better way. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel Logical Solutions for more videos.